With the better mayors update came a brand new Hypixel Skyblock event, and so, welcome to the carnival. The carnival has three different challenges. First up, a fishing challenge. There are three different colored fish, each one worth different points. Get as many points as possible before the time runs out. Next up, target practice. Hone in on your aim and hit the higher point value mobs before time runs out. And finally, fruit digging. Dig up as many fruits as you can and try your best to avoid TNT. So we walk in here, new area discovered, carnival, we have Chantel. Ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, but I just have paranoia. Like your every action is being recorded and monitored? Uh, well that sure is the case here at the carnival, but it's just so we can track your stats and let you complete challenges for rewards. Don't think too hard about it. Alright, what are the- what are the challenges here? Fruit digging. Uh, play through- okay, yeah, yeah, alright. Now, I already know all these challenges because I partook in the alpha testing. And all those challenges were there and I completed them rather quickly, but I'm a little afraid of one and I'll get into that in a little bit. Now if I want to play one of these games, I can talk to the guy, and then... A few moments later... I guess I have to answer some dialogue. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, 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 I, uh... Okay, I was just gonna talk about how it takes five carnival tickets to get in, and I was hoping that, like, maybe a GUI would pop up, but nope, we're just here. Now, some of those challenges are get 30 fish, get five yellows in one run, get 3,000 points, play it three times, also get a catch streak of five, which means like just rapid fire every time you like. I think I, I think the best strategy is just spam the mouse. I kept I keep getting four streaks. Come on, give me five. There's the five streak. Let's go. All right, we got the three thousand points. This this is. I did not expect to just like hop right in. I was hoping like a menu would pop up so I could show you each game costs five carnival tickets. Oh, we got five yellow. Wait, did we just get four of the goals? All of the goals we possibly could have from that one play? Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is one way to get carnival tickets and carnival tokens. The other way to get carnival tickets is by participating in Jacob's contest. And I, I, I don't know if you can tell, I've been doing a ton of Jacob contests. And so I'm just gonna collect some of these. We're at 46 carnival tickets, bam. But we didn't just get carnival tickets, we also got carnival tokens. Now what are those used for? They're used by Doug over at the souvenir shop. So I can talk to him and I can go to the event shop and I can get different buffs on mining fiesta, fishing festival, season of Jerry, and spooky fest. Or I can go to the mask shop, buy this little accessory, this common accessory for 250 tokens, which I can already afford, and buy some of these masks, maybe. Zombie mask, salmon mask, armadillo mask, gain 50 mining fortune on non-ore blocks. Pretty good. Parrot mask, and then there's bee mask with the ability buzzy little bee, which doubles the base pet stats of your active bee pet and grants seven foraging fortune, uh, which is actually the best foraging pet as long as you have a level 100 legendary B, so you get 30 additional foraging fortune, or if you don't have a legendary B pet, you can also settle for the frog mask. So yeah, there's cool little buffs to foraging, mining, powder mining even for the armadillo mask. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so you got to start with the carnival mask bag. You can open it and you can put those different masks in there, but you don't get the effect unless you're wearing them. <sighs> Screw you, Jacobus. So yeah, I started with 25, got six more from those Jacob's contests, and we're up to 46 because each of these challenges also gives you five carnival tickets and my server's rebooting. Bruh. So let's go ahead and play Catch a Fish two more times just to finish this quest, and then we can move on to Zombie Shootout. And played it three times. Bam, give me those tickets, and also give me those tokens. All right, next up is zombie shootout. Let's see. Now, the strategy here is to also focus on the lamps when they light up. The challenges for this are play three games, reach 3000 score, shoot 60 zombies, shoot five diamond zombies, and shoot five redstone lamps. So let's do it. All right, we've gotten all the redstone lamps we need, so I'm not gonna focus on those anymore. They do give a small boost for six seconds of 1.2x every time you shoot them, which is pretty nice. All right, we're up to four diamond zombies. We got 30 seconds left. We're already at 3,000 score, and there's the fifth. 
Uh, there we go. I'm at 53 kills. Can I knock out 60? Come on, I see four kills. And there, 60 kills and 3,000 score and five lamps and five diamond zombies. And now we just need to play two more times. And bam, look at that, play three games. Now that one was a little bit less fun than the catch a fish one, but now, now is the time for the one that I'm frightened of, fruit digging. Now I have well enough tickets to do this properly, however, the TNT is a little sporadic and you can't really control when it spawns, from what I've heard, so I'm a little afraid. But for that, the challenges are play three games, get 3,000 score, dig up three apples, <laughs> dig up five unique fruits in a single game, and dig up a dragon fruit. Now on the alpha, they didn't take that long. I'm just, I'm just a little nervous. I just don't want to get blown up a bunch. All right, welcome to fruit digging. The rules are as follow. I know what the rules are. Now, here's apparently the strategy is to use the iron shovel for the apples and I believe the diamond shovel for the five uniques and the dragon fruit. So yeah, iron. That's, okay. Apple. 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 Mango. Apple. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Come on. All right, we're doing pretty well. Just give me a dragon fruit now. Hey, wait, we got a dragon fruit. Wait, what? When did we get a dragon fruit, huh? Huh? Okay, I mean, we got all the chow. That was really easy. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's play just two more times. I understand now. I understand what the iron shovel is for. Okay, okay, yes. I know how this works now. Okay, wait. No, it's not. I get it. I'm ready to play some more. No, that was a bomb. That is definitely information. I don't know what I'm going to do with that information or if it's helpful at all, but it is information. Yeah, let me play again, you bastard. Why are you trying to make me an alcoholic? There's the fruit. Huh? I sure do, Captain. Well, that's going to be it for today. That has been the carnival update, which is great. Not only is it a great early game event, it's also a great mid game and late game event because it's fun and it gives you progression. Incremental amounts of progression, but progression nonetheless for mining fiesta or fishing festival or just non-orb blocks fortune. I mean, come on, not bad. <laughs>